Hello and welcome to Encoder 101, a video series from Encoder Products Company. I'm Steve Diltz, your host. In this segment, we're going to take a look at a linear measurement solution, the TR1 TrueTrack Linear Encoder. Now, encoders provide positional feedback information by means of a rotating shaft that produces a digital pulse string. And now, what if we want to track the motion of a moving surface such as a conveyor or roll stock coming off of a roll? Typically what we do is we would apply a wheel to that encoder and track the motion of that moving surface. In some cases, that surface is moving very rapidly. It may vibrate or have irregularities to it, and that can cause the encoder and the wheel to lose contact with that surface. When this happens, we lose counts and we have inaccurate feedback. So the question is, how do we maintain constant pressure and contact between the wheel and the moving surface? Well, in the past, what we've done is we would uh, fabricate a uh, bracket and a pivot shaft, mounting hardware. You'd need to find a spring of the proper size and tension. All these pieces and components, they're additional cost, additional headache. And that's what led Encoder Products Company to develop the TR1 TrueTrack Linear Encoder. It's a compact, elegant design that incorporates all these features into one piece. It incorporates a size 15 encoder, a measuring wheel, and this one piece housing is molded out of a polymer composite. And inside the housing is a spring that provides constant tension, and it's also adjustable. It's easy to install, much easier than all these components, and less costly. So let's just find out how easy it is to install. I've already put our mounting bracket on the conveyor in this case, and I select one of these three mounting holes to put the pivot shaft through. I'm going to choose the top one. Now I simply uh, tighten down the pivot shaft, and by the way, the pivot shaft can be reversed in the field to allow you to mount the uh, encoder on either side of the uh, mounting bracket. I simply remove the cap from the back of the encoder and loosen the lock nut. By rotating the Allen wrench upward, I increase the tension on the spring, and when I've got the desired tension, I simply tighten it, and it's locked in place. I replace the cap, and we're done. Now we've got feedback. In this case, the encoder is simply tracking the motion of this conveyor and providing pulses to our counter here. And now let's talk about your application. If you're applying the TR1 in an environment that's wet, dusty, or dirty, we recommend you use the environmental seal option that provides a shaft seal. The wheels available with the TR1 are a 6 inch or 200 millimeter circumference and are available with a urethane surface or knurled aluminum. In some cases, we're asked about using a 12 inch circumference wheel with the TR1. And what we would suggest in this case is to use the 6 inch wheel with half the resolution. In many TrueTrack applications, such as converting or printing or labeling, static is a concern. Right. Not to worry, the TR1 is manufactured out of a proprietary polymer composite that is non-conducting. Well, those are the basic features of the TR1 TrueTrack encoder. To find out more about Encoder Products Company, our products, or the TR1, visit the website encoder.com or follow the link at the end of this video to see more videos. And remember, Encoder Products Company, we provide feedback solutions that just make sense.